Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Kerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Kerbigly and I'm feeling yet a little bit better so I decided to do yet another episode. Hopefully this one comes out okay without having me hacking and coughing and spitting a phlegm in the camera and fun stuff like that. So anyway, I'm playing a quick one shot from over on Steam. This is a game called The Old Tree. It's a free to play game. It's a point and click adventure that's supposed to be very, very short. So you can go ahead and download it yourself. I'll put a link down in the description below. But let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, it has a very unique looking art style. I have no idea. I, I'm assuming I have to click this little blinky red light. Oh my god. And there's flickering. Is this going to be a horror game? I have no idea if this is a horror game or not, but... Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm a little, like, eggplant, squid, octopus, radish guy. What, what am I? I'm like a radish with tentacles. That's cool. Where do we go? Can't open any more eggs. Oh, he just crawls along by himself. Oh god, it's like his back legs are crippled, and he's just dragging himself with his front ones. Good lord! Um, but anyway, so, uh... Oh! Oh, <laughs> that's cool. So so he's uh, climbing up the wall, too, which is really cool. Um, I'm assuming that mechanic will come into play in some of the later puzzles. Um, already the atmosphere is just, like, really kind of creepy and weird and, and very funky, which I, I like. I like that a lot. Um, I've also put my mouse cursor on the screen, as you guys probably see, uh, so that you guys can see what sort of uh, things I'm trying to click on and, and stuff like that. I don't know if I have to click that light or anything. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it just, um, once you've solved like, a puzzle in an area, it just force progresses you through, which is fine by me. That That's really cool. It lets you focus on the puzzles and then in the interim, as you're waiting for the scenes to transition, you get to concentrate on the character himself and see what he's doing. Oh, hey, little fly guy. Hi, hi fly buddy friend. What are you doing? Can I... What is that? Oh, God! Am I gonna have to battle this? Is this a, this is a big centipede? Oh, hey, a raindrop. Cool. Oh, do I have to crawl into that? I can't make myself crawl. Ooh, did I, hit the, I bet I hit the fly with it. Fly, go back under. Go back under, man. Do I have to click him? Looks like he's kind of moving on his own, doing whatever he wants. I guess we gotta wait. We gotta sit here and wait. Waiting all day for you, fly guy. And what's that thing? Oh, no, nothing. That's nothing. I got distracted by nothing and it made me miss the freaking water drop. Ah, oh, you fly. So, I'm assuming, like, maybe the fly. You dropped the, the water drop on me? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Drop it on me. No. So, what do we do? What do we do? Does he drop it on the centipede and it makes the centipede go away? We gotta give it a try. I don't, but he doesn't come over that far, so I don't know what he, what we're supposed to do on this. Maybe he drops it on a mushroom or something. Or maybe on this thing. Or one of these things. Let's see what happens if we wait till he gets the farthest he can go. Whoop. Oh, sweet! Okay, awesome. My, my hunch paid off. I played so many point-and-click games. So that whacked that centipede. That centipede was like, Ugh, I don't want to get wet today. And he just was went away. So that's absolutely fine by me. It was the Incredipede. It was freaking Quasal, whatever his stupid name is. So anyway, oh, it's like a hotel. Hello. Sir? Hi. <laughs> I can I can ring the bell. Hi, sir. I, I would like some service, please. Please! Bug Hotel Man! So is it you a cockroach? Oh. Oh. What's that? Oh, it did something when I clicked it. It went boo. I don't know if that does anything, though. Sir? Do you know? Oh. Oh. There's a number on there. Do I have to remember that? Four. Oh. Oh, it went down to three. Oh, is that... Okay, I think this is like an elevator, and I have to... I think I have to... Yeah, I think I have to keep clicking it. All right, so that's two. Goes down to one. Oh, it's here! Oh, man, that's cool. That's a cool mechanic. I like that it's sort of like a time thing, so it sort of forced you as to what to do. All right, so now we're in the elevator. Now we have to pick what floor we want to go to. What's this? Do? Nothing? What's that thing? I can't... I mean... It, it, the, the details in this game are beautiful. They're, like, tiny and intricate, and uh, nothing is too obvious. Nothing, like, pokes out of the foreground so much. Excuse me, I got the burpees. Um, nothing pokes out of the, uh, the foreground so much that it's, like, an obvious giveaway about what you have to do, which is fine by me because I really like puzzle games where you sort of have to figure it out yourself. So, oh, so you can press every... <laughs> you're going to be like the kid on the elevator just presses every button and, and does whatever. And Okay, are we actually going anywhere? I don't think we're going anywhere. It doesn't sound like it started up. Is there like a pattern we have to... Oh! Oh! What the hell? I guess I did it. Um, I didn't... <laughs> I just did that by luck. Is that... I, I have no idea what I did. I have no idea what I did, but apparently we did it. So, okay. Nothing else is happening. Did I get out? Oh! Okay, so that was like a, a drawstring to open the, 
over the ceiling. Hopefully my full voice is back soon, by the way, because I really want to continue Kato with Shoujo. I want to um, be able to uh, just find out what the hell's happening to the characters in that game, because it's just so... Uh, I don't know, it's just it's an intriguing game. I really like it a lot. But anyway, so, um... Hello, Fly, sir. Oh. Hey, Buzzy Buzz. That all you do? Okay, what's this? Oh, uh, okay, we've seen these mechanics before. Uh, this was in, like, uh, what was it, uh, um, the de Deeper Sleep? Yeah, every time you see one of those grates with screws on it, you can unscrew it. So now I assume I click this Fly Guy, and he's gonna go in there and light my way? Yep. Awesome. We're just cl climbing up this elevator shaft like it's it's no thing. That's some damage. I hope this hotel has some freaking insurance or something. That's, you know... <laughs> But anyway, so uh, I bet we click this fly again, right? No, nope, the kid's not gonna let me. Maybe we gotta wait until he, he stops moving. All right, guy. What are these things? What are you? Oh, wires are in our way. Okay, fly guy. No, nope, fly guy doesn't do anything. Ooh, what? The, what the hell are you? You like eyeballs? Is this uh? They're like eyes. Uh, they get dimmer one way and then they get like brighter the other way. Or whoa, what was that? Oh, cool. There was a hidden one underneath. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's one of these types of puzzles. Oh, okay, I guess I solved the puzzle by just randomly clicking like an idiot, and I turn off the, uh, the sparkies that were gonna shock me, so that was good. <laughs> Very cool. I enjoy this. This is a cool little game. It's got a lot of atmosphere, like I was saying before. The puzzles, um... Are just they're very well designed so far. I, I do like it. Um, it's got a good pace to it. It progresses you along. You see interactive things. Oh, don't get chopped up, man. Okay, good. I thought he was gonna keep climbing into. It. I mean, he is a baby. He did just hatch from an egg. Assume we're gonna click this thing that's that's hanging off. Boom! Destroying the fan. Like I said, I hope this hotel has some freaking insurance because we are destroying everything. They're gonna just be like, why the hell is our electricity not working? Why is our elevator not working? Why is our ventilation not working? Ugh. And, like, nothing, nothing's going to be working. <laughs> uh, you destructive little baby guy. I guess he doesn't know what he's doing, though. He really doesn't know what he's doing. Ooh, hello, robot chef guy, sir, stone statue man. What the hell? I click you. I click this. What is this? Uh, it's a meat leg. Mmm, delicious. As a fly. Hello, fly. Oh, hey, come back. You're taking the meat leg. That, that, that chef needs that. Oh, man. Do I click the fly? I wonder if I click the fly. So I, I, we can't get by because of the hot steam. Oh, man, we killed the fly. <laughs> and he fell off the screen like he was freaking Mario. Super Mario Bros. 1. Uh, damn, this game's really cool. I like it. All right, that's not enough for you. By the way, this guy isn't wondering why, why food is just dropping in randomly. I mean, no one else is in the kitchen with him controlling that switch. He didn't reach back to click the switch. As far as he knows, there's an axe murderer behind him who is first dropping meat bones and, and sausage penises and uh, carrots into the stew and, uh, and then is, is waiting to throw him in it too, make a cannibal stew. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know. You, can, you can't ever assume, guys. You know what happens when you assume. Oh, the button still clicks, but that this guy's leaving with his delicious um, meat leg, chicken chicken drumstick, uh, hot dog, carrot soup. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is a bizarre game. It's really weird. It's got a very bizarre atmosphere. I dig it a lot, though. I really like it. I like the the, the ambient sound effects in the background. It's really cool. Um, it's it's just for a free to play. This is great. I really do do like it a lot. All right. Oh, nothing in this room? I don't have to click anything. I'm just passing through, I guess. That, that probably leads to the dining room. That's probably where the, where the cook went. So we're going to go into this photo photo booth, curtain, closet, broom broom closet thing. Oh. Okay. Sure. Just knock down all the brooms. Go ahead. And you, we climb into the back of it, and we're apparently going to Narnia. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's more of the tree. So, man, they, they built this hotel in a very weird spot. It's got some weird connecting tunnels and things like that. But I guess it is a big tree, so, you know, it, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, whatever. All right, so what do we do here? Ooh, okay. What's this? That's a, that's a thing. Is this doors? Is this water? Is this filled with water? That's a drain, then. And yeah, it's full of water, so now we can open this door, I bet. Go ahead and climb in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. And then I bet what we're going to have to do is it's like an airlock. We're going to fill this with water. And we are going to 
Float to the top and bri man, he looks dead. We just drowned the main character. He's dead now. He is dead now. All right, what happened? if we drain it though, won't I fall back? Oh wait, no, that's right. I'm sticky. I'm a sticky guy. I can stick to things, so that means I can just open this door. That was easy. That was nice and easy. I like that puzzle. It was cool. It's uh, you know, very floating ball style puzzle, um, airlock style puzzle. Oh, he wants to flop back down on the floor. I guess he probably doesn't want all the blood to rush to his brain, which is actually like his whole body. So that is already full of blood. I I don't know. How do you live? How are you living, man? I mean. Not that you can't live if you're just a, like a bulbous thing with tentacles, oct octopus, octopi do it all the time. But, you know, he's, I, I don't know, he's an alien something. He's something. <laughs> I don't know if there's any sort of deeper message behind this game either. A lot of point-and-click games do use themselves as allegory for other messages and background things. Um, this game, I'm not sure if it does, but it's definitely unique and really cool. I do, I, I do dig it a lot. I've, I've digged it a lot. It's, it's awesome. Whoa, hi, big guy thing. What is that? What's this? These are dicks growing out of the wall. Hello. Oh, he opened his eyes when I did that. What's this? I'm just going to click everything? Whoa! What's that? Oh, it's an air pump, I bet. Yeah. Whoa! Release some, like, noxious gas. Oh, it's like a big foxy guy. Oh, come back here, foxy. Foxes are cool. I think foxes are awesome. I'm not going to make a what does the fox say joke because, um, well, I kind of, I guess I already referenced it. <laughs> but uh, ooh, look at the beautiful night sky and the uh, tiny uh, Jupiter, very small planet is floating right here in the foreground. Uh, I didn't know that space was so close to the old tree. Is the tree the center of the universe? Is it the life-giving tree, Yggdrasil or whatever? All right, now what do we do? Ah, we click this. Ooh, it's a, it's like a, a wispy, wispy, wispy dandelion thing. All right, that's what those are dandelion buffs. You can blow them, and they, they send all the little white, shooty things everywhere. That sounds gross. You blow them, and they send white, shooty things everywhere. That is a, a different part of nature. Oh, that's the end. Okay, so apparently I beat it. I had no idea that I was going to be able to beat it so quick. That was very short. That was only 12 minutes. Um, Very cool. I really enjoyed it. It was a fun little point and click. It, it really had a great atmosphere, like I said before. Great sound effects, really cool puzzles, awesome progression. Um, like I said, it's absolutely free, so if you guys want to try it yourselves, go ahead, click the link down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. I can't do that when I'm the sick on a regular basis and, and it bums me out even more and it's a terrible vicious cycle where I just get more and more bummed and I'm like, man, I didn't do what I wanted to and carton cream again. Stop trying to give me carton cream. I would never take a carton of cream off of um, just a duck or, or a noose man, a walking, this wolf.